welcome. How are you? My organisational skills are getting better. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my last video, if you watched it. Um, my review on uh, Army of the Dead. I managed to knock down a two and a half hour film down to an hour. So I feel quite proud of myself for doing that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Did a very good job. And I had interruptions for my dogs. So, even better. Um, right, so natural glam look. And I'll be using this palette and include this is rude makeup roaring 20s carefree and also i bought this the other day it's elf it's the no budge shadow stick perfect pearl so yeah i'm gonna be using these i love this and i recently bought this so it has to go on my eyes literally i'm gonna be recreating a look that I have previously done. Um, I don't really do glamour. I don't really do natural glamour. But, good news. Um, I got a job. A waitressing job. Um, yeah. So, quick backstory. Um, I've been doing candles and wax melts. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm happy. <laughs> I've been doing candles and wax melts and like money has basically stopped. I've only sold a couple of things online and like ugh, recently it's just going down and down. Then it goes up a little bit and then it just goes down and down and down. And I sell on New Monday and I sell on Etsy. And with a shell candle include <laughs> that I sold for £5.50 to a customer, including like listing fees, advertising fees, um, they take money out of shipping fees, so I made a profit of a whopping 16 pence. I, I, I have receipts, I can prove this. <laughs> it's crazy. So yeah, um, I was really upset um because i was just like right i don't have enough money i need to find a job and i was looking all over the internet and i was just like i can't it's so like been applying and not getting replies and it's really really heart-wrenching and i nearly had a nervous breakdown well i nearly like burst into tears in the middle <laughs> in the middle of a garden center I, I nearly just like burst into tears it was like really really upsetting for me and uh if I did just burst into tears in the middle of a garden center people would think I'm crazy crying over like the price of begonias or something like that but I don't know what begonias look like <laughs> <laughs> this is the first plant that pops into my head I don't know roses do people cry about the price of roses some of them do what am I doing but yeah um anyway the next day my friend, he texts me and he's just like, oh, Steph, do you want a job? I was like, yes, I, I will. I do want a job. <laughs> I will take this job. And he was like, okay, my family, they've opened up a restaurant and they need more staff. And I know that you've been doing silver service and all that kind of jazz. So I was like, yes, went to an interview. They liked me. I got the job. So that's all good. And I've done my, um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I did my training days and because I know quite a couple of people there already his wife who's also my friend who I've also worked with before she was messaging me she said like they encourage glamour because it is like a bit of a glamorous place there and I'm just so used to doing silver service and silver service you have to blend into the background you have to be seen not heard so makeup like mascara and eyeliner that's fine the strictest clients i've worked for have been walking around inspecting all the girls and if they didn't if they had too much makeup on they had like makeup removal wipes i'm not even joking it's crazy they asked one guy to shave his beard and they asked another guy to cut his hair like then and there they gave him a razor <laughs> It was really bad. Those are the strictest people that I've worked for. Apart from that, you just get a sarcastic comment. But because these people encourage glamour, I have to practice glamour. 
so natural nude glamour I was like okay makeup boom I love colours but it's like a nude glamour I don't know how many times I've said nude glamour but here we are um yeah nude glamour so that's what I'm going to be doing today I've tried to record this three times already so I'm not sure if I've already shown you this one I'm going to be using this palette. I love this palette. If you haven't already seen it before, I used it in my first video. I didn't use it in my second video. Rude Cosmetics, the Roaring Twenties Carefree. I really like this palette. Buy it. Not sponsored. <laughs> and going to be using this bad boy. The e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick Perfect Pearl eyeshadow thing so yeah I've done this look before so I'm just gonna be recreating it I wore it on the first day of my job so yeah oh and by the way my friend she's also a professional princess as well so she knows natural glamour she knows what she's talking about so yeah let's begin prime so just dabbing this on dabity dab dab I was going to film this the other day, but um, I didn't wash my brushes and it was just scraping everywhere and the eyeshadow was actually crumbling into like the lines because when this dries it goes like really solid in the brush and I'm probably using the wrong brush, wrong blood, br <laughs> the wrong brush, but who cares? my makeup I do what I want and that's how you should look at makeup it's your makeup you do whatever you want it washes off who cares and like I've never done a natural glam that's some tacky that's some tacky I'll, I'll put everything in the description so I'm more organized so much more organized I'm really impressed with myself so into my palette I'm gonna start with these knees. I might just do like little circle images instead of constantly holding up. I'm not sure. I might. We'll see. Yeah, start this at the top. I don't know if it's going to be as good as when I'd done it before. Who knows? It might. I literally, I just improvised it as I went along. That's what I was doing. I was like, okay. I was in Superdrug and I was looking at all different palettes and just nudes and stuff and Revolution apparently nude colours are like pink. It's like that's not nude, what are you talking about Revolution? But I was looking at all the palettes and it was just like basically browns and creams, maybe a black with a little bit of a pink or something and it's, I thought to myself you know like I already all have this in this palette so why go and spend money when I've already got stuff like literally what's the point you slay me that one gonna do that as well just going back and forth back and forth back and forth and again I have hooded eyes hooded eyes hooded eyelids so the work is completely gone when I open up my eyes. But we use layers here. And the same brush apparently. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. Do a little blendy blend. I hope you guys are okay. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> it sounds so condescending and patronizing. So many YouTubers talk like that. I've been, okay. To be honest, I have been planning to make, oh, so keen, so keen, I'm very keen. <laughs> to be honest, I have been meaning to make another film, uh, another makeup thing, but um, YouTube has distracted me. I have been binging YouTube so much, it's not even funny anymore. I'm just slightly addicted. 
That's not good. Just not good. Who do you guys follow on YouTube? I found someone called, um... Cool Teresi. I found her. I really like her. I think she's really cool. She's very nice. Well, you know what? I'm gonna subscribe to you. I like you. I like you. Gonna blend. Gonna blend. Back into you slowly. Gonna go into Packard. No. That's and how. Picard. Get into Picard. Again, brown. Gonna go ever so lightly. With Picard. Don't know how. This might go so much worse <laughs> than what I did last time. We'll see. You can only but try. Oh, it is coming out differently to how I done it though. I didn't have edges like this last time. Smaller brush. Ow. <laughs> Keep stabbing myself in the eye. I will be doing another review video because I really, really liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, just, you know, watching films over and over again. And um, I did Army of the Dead. Like... I managed to review a two and a half hour long film in detail. I brought it down <laughs> into an hour and four minutes with like interruptions from my dogs. So I see that as a success. I just liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun and I got to talk about films. And I love zombie films. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I might do um, Run. With Sarah Paulson in, I might review that. I'm gonna go into Dapper. Because she'd be Dapper. We need some more brown. Sarah Paulson, aka a ridiculously underrated actress, it's horrifying. I hate how underrated she is. It's like, she is amazing. She is a queen. Like, she deserves so many awards so many it's just not fair so i i watched ratchet she was in that i liked it it was okay but then i got a little bit lost in ratchet it was okay my boyfriend was watching it and he was like the way her character is it's not like it is in the film what film was ratchet in it's got Jack Nicholson in it. But anyway, yeah, she's an amazing actress and she deserves all the credit in the world. I think places like the Oscars and all that, they're just, they're not needed anymore. They just pick whatever's popular. They just completely disregard everyone who's in like American Horror Story. I think American Horror Story have won awards, but not as many as they deserve. They deserve so much more. They deserve all the awards. All the awards. <laughs> In the world. It's so great. Okay. So I'm more orangey. There was more brown last time. But that can be fixed by adding more brown. Going back into bee's knees. Is making it all making this nude makeup look like bee's knees. So yeah, new waitressing job. I'm I I already know people who work there, which is great. Like in the nicest way possible. You know when you first start a job and you feel like you need to find you need to hone in on certain people because you just you wanna make friends, you wanna get along, you just wanna you know, work, but you also want to like make it work. You want to make it worthwhile, you know? You really, really do. You just want to be there, have friends, get along with people, do your job, and go home. That's all you really want. But because I already know people there, it already makes it easier because I've already honed in on them. They are trapped by me. I have trapped them into being my friend. They don't have a choice. They're officially my friend. How dare they leave me? They won't leave. Don't, don't leave. I love you. I mean, 
I love you. I'm just really going to town with this. I made myself do orange and now I need to brown my, brown my eyelids. It doesn't look the same as it did before. She be she. She be looking kind of cute. I like it. I think I just need a little bit more dapper. Why was I saying I wanted to review Run? <laughs> oh yeah. Sarah Paulson just deserves all the credit in the world. I think she's absolutely amazing. She's incredible. And I've, actually, I've watched the film. And you know what? It reminds me of, what's her face, Gypsy Rose, I don't want to say Gypsy Rose Lee because I, I can't remember, I know what I'm talking about. We clean off the excess, there is a lot of fallout. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, is it? Is it Gypsy Rose Blanchard? Anyway, it has that vibe to it, it has those vibes like i think the girl who is in the wheelchair is actually in a wheelchair in real life so that's good i can't believe i have to compliment stuff like that and be proud and give claps to directors who do that but we do here we are look at her she's pretty i don't know if you can see Very shiny. Sweet home Alabama. This is where the glam comes in. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm not completely done. There will be more. I have two mirrors, so I'm very distracted. I see silver or I see shiny things and I just look at him and I'm just looking at myself in the mirror. I'm just like headbutting it. I'm not headbutting anything, I promise. Let's get to the face. This is a lot of primer I've put on. I've got some left over. Okay. So yeah, with the glamorous makeup, the natural glam, um, my friend, she was like, who helped get the job? I was like, oh yeah, get some lashes. I was like, mm. <laughs> lashes? I've applied lashes probably twice, three times in my entire life. So that is an entirely different video. I think when I do do false lashes on my own, because I've always been supervised doing false eyelashes, people help me. Like, I've put the eyelashes on the wrong eye i didn't even know that you could do that until i actually did it and it's pointed out to me that's how bad we are <laughs> the eyelashes. so i'm gonna wait for a paycheck and then we're gonna be buying the eyelashes because i don't know lashes i don't know like putting them on i know like you put eyelashes on but you know these will do fine did i say what primer is this one it's this, this one. Barry M. And Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. I say it like this because in my last... Me not the last one. The one before. The basic bitch one. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have sworn. But here we are. I said Laura Mercier. I know. Instead, I don't know why I said Laura Mercier. <laughs> I don't know why. I put this on the wrong way around. I usually do concealer, then powder. So already we're different. I think I should just quickly put on concealer and then top up with powder. Did you hear that? Concealer, then powder. Milk. Milk? Is that the shade? Milk? Yes, milk, because I'm a pasty bitch. Ooh. Milk. Might do a Scout's Guide to a Zombie Apocalypse instead. Or as well. Haven't fully decided. Got a spot there. Trying to hide it. So 
Okay, look, it's not blending. Because the powder. The lighting has changed. Not because like a ring light thing. Because I don't have a ring light. I'm au natural. I'm just sitting in front of my mirror. No, sit, sitting in front of my mirror? What am I talking about? I'm sitting in front of my window in the daylight. It's the weather forecast is rainy. <laughs> so it's been raining all day. And then it's gone nice and sunny. And now we're raining again. Or well, we're just about to rain. So that's what that is. I have such a red chin. I don't know what's going on. Like, because I'm back at work and I have a job and everything now. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I have to wear masks indoors, which you have to anywhere. But when you're wearing them for like few hours on end. There we go, there's a little bit of light. Looks shocked. Like when you have to wear it for hours on end. I don't know about you. If you've been wearing masks, which you should be wearing masks, you cheeky devils. I'm just like putting concealer on that bit because I have I wear glasses full time. I fall asleep in my glasses. But because I'm back at work and we have to wear masks for hours and hours on end I don't know about you, but I'm getting really bad acne around my nose. Like, it's developing. It's not, like, really, really bad, but it's just developing. I'm getting spots when I usually wouldn't get spots. Like this. What has happened? <laughs> and then we go over with the powder. I hope you're alright. Are you okay? Are you doing alright? Are you fine? I didn't even bother to ask you that. I hope you're okay. I really do. There we go. That's calmed my face down a little bit because it was like, it was like milk. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more powder. Just a little bit more. A little bit more powder. This isn't baking powder. I've never baked. I have baked cakes, but not, you know, you know what I mean. Luminous Bronzer Sunrise L1 Heat Wave Flower Beauty. That was a big title. It looks like that. I just saw it because it looked, it was like a marble effect and I have a thing about marble effects. That's why I actually bought this. It, I just, I saw Cat's Meow and I was like, I want this. My favourite shade is that one. And I just saw it and I was just like, I need that. I need that in a I'm so glad I bought it. I've been trying for a while to buy bronzers, but it, it's hard for me because I'm not, I don't wear makeup all the time, so I don't know what bronzer is right for me necessarily because there is a fine line between sun-kissed and oompa loompa. So I tried this the other day and it worked. It looked nice. Just, it's a little bit, just got to put it on carefully. That's what you got to do. Just put it on a little bit carefully. It's brown, but I don't look like an Oompa Loompa. It's like a nice sun kiss. It's kind of sculpted. I'm checking all of my mirrors. One, two, you! You're a mirror! Because you're cute, that's why. That's why you're a mirror. Do do do. Can I see like this? Can you see me? You can. As if I was further back on my bed, I'd have to turn my light on. Mulberry Lavelle. Can you see it? Can you see it? Amazon. And RT. Can't remember what RT stands for, but it's a blush brush. I, I know we have to wear masks now because I have a job and I'm waitressing. So you shouldn't really have to worry about this because like, they can't see this part. So it's, 
I'm just putting it on anyway because like when you're getting hot or when you're walking to and from your car you take your mask off generally so otherwise you'd have like this whole part of your face just not done and to me that's just laziness <laughs> so I'm gonna go for that I'm even gonna put some lipstick on as well because that's what I did last time didn't even show my face but I put on lipstick oh oh this is okay Let's even that out. Yeah, the masks, I'm just literally bringing my... I shouldn't be, but I'm bringing my makeup up. Maybe it looks alright. Maybe I should keep it up more. What do you think? And my favourite highlighter. She be she. She be looking cute. I see you. I even did the highlighter on the nose <laughs> when I was doing my um, new job makeup look. I think there was someone in there from like, my mum said, she looked at the thing, she was like, is that the guy from The Only Way is Essex? I was like, I don't know. I don't watch that anymore. I used to. I used to watch that show and I used to enjoy it, but then it got a bit like, it was okay. It was... It just became okay. So I gave up on it. Okay. And we got back. It was either Dapper or Packard. It was one of these two. And I can't remember which one it was. First time I did it, like the recreation. I didn't even like write it down. I put it on my Instagram stories. So I think I used Packard. Yeah. Packard. So we're just going to stamp. Can you see? Yeah. It's really dark in my room, but like on the screen it looks really light. I'm happy with that. I won't do my eyebrows because they exist. Back in with the elf. We love her. We love Elf. Alphaba. Alphaba. So if you care to find me, look to the western sky. As someone told me lately, everyone deserves a chance to fly. Sorry. because I've waited for that to dry and we go over it again make it even shinier ooh that looks loads shinier I'm not a makeup expert but I think I'm getting there I think I'm doing okay because I have the another stick another shadow stick I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I bought both. <laughs> I have this one, and I have the rose gold one. And the rose gold one kind of looks like, um, like Costa have got these, um, these Frostinos. I don't know why I'm doing this. It looks like only really cute. Um, yeah, they've got Frostinos, and oh, it was really good. But the color on top was looked amazing. I was like, I want that and an eyeshadow palette because it's like a sparkly or possibly metallic and like and now I've got that shadow stick and it kind of looks the same I don't know what it's gonna look like when I put it on my face but it may or may not look the same there we go gonna leave the bottom lashes I'm leaving the eyebrows because I cannot be bothered to do eyebrows and I don't have any false lashes so that's going to be another makeup video. So we are on to the very last bit which is the lipstick we're doing next Cosmetics. And again, next Cosmetics. This is what we're doing now. I need to exfoliate my lips. It's so 
cute. Suede. Is that the shade? Stockholm. Stockholm as in the syndrome. So this is the natural glam look. That's the natural glam look, and we are back to the handheld. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Earthquake! So, yes, thank you for watching. I'm gonna ask you, thank you for coming back, thank you for returning. Uh, I think I'm gonna do another review. Later. Not today, because I still have to watch it. I still need to rewatch the film in my notes. I might do Run, I might do Scout Sky to a Zombie Apocalypse. I might do more if you have any other suggestions of what I can and cannot do. No, not cannot do, I'm gonna do it. If you have any suggestions of what you want me to do, then, um, yeah. I'm gonna just comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye.